Hello, my name is Shah Sagim. Uh, I don't speak English very well, so uh, take it easy on me. Now, I'm going to talk about the space and time and the atom. Uh, the first thing I'm going to say is the atom. Uh, I'm sorry, the space. Now, the space is nothing but an illusion created by a three d uh, two dimensional uh, image, and it gives the observer a an illusion that it's a three-dimensional image. Now, I'm going to take an example of GTA Vice City. This is a three-dimensional video game. You can see you can walk forward and backwards, left and right, and you can walk up and down. And I'm going to take an example if you walk forward and forward and forward. And well, my point is, how can uh, a uh, screen, which is very big compared to a uh, plasma screen, how can a uh, two dimensional uh, 40 inches screen create a three dimensional form which gives the player uh, an illusion that, it, that uh, this player walks forward and forward? Well, like I said, it's just an illusion. It Take it to your on reality, it doesn't exist. It's just like dreams. It's uh, it's the same. It's all the same. Now, spaces doesn't exist. Like I said, it's uh, just a two-dimensional image. I forgot its name, but it's uh, behind your behind your uh, head. And it shows the observer an illusion that it's uh, three-dimensional images of his own life. I'm going to talk about the atom. The atom is a hard ball. You know, it's a hard ball. It's made out of photons and electrons and the loop nucleus in the middle. And the electrons are spinning, spinning around. It uh, goes from the nucleus and it spins round and round. And between all these electrons, it's uh, a big empty space of nothing. It's an empty space. There's nothing in between those electrons. And that only makes the atom 99% uh, empty. So basically, the atom doesn't exist. It sounds like this. It's not, it's not solid. And like we know, the, uh, the nucleus is... Um, Nucleus is uh, energy, it's waves, it's hard to localize it, and that, that, that what, that's what makes the atom uh, solid. So basically, the atom is not solid, it's only your head, it's consciousness, it, it gives the observer, uh, it gives him an illusion, it's not, it's not really solid, all this world is not, it's not solid, it's nothing. And, well, well, what I'm going to say is, uh, well, the, the atom exists more than one place because the nucleus is an, er an energy. It's hard to localize its waves. Like we all know, it's waves, like we learned from a lot of quantum, quantum uh, videos. And uh, if the atom exists more than one place, then we humans exist more than one place, and all this unit of universe exists more than one place. So basically, the atom is nothing more than empty space and a bit of electrons, which proven that uh, electrons are not even solid. It's not. It's a particle, but it's not solid. It's, it's um, simple waves like the double slit experiment of uh, quantum mechanics. And like we know, Spaces and time is the same. It, it only it's only an illusion created by your brain, and well, basically we 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 humans doesn't even exist. We don't even exist. Sorry, this life isn't even real. It's uh, like a dream. It's a consciousness that makes us real, makes the world real. Let's say if we play a. Uh, Two screen, a two-dimensional screen, very small screen, and we move into a world 
made of made out of um, three dimensional. Well, this isn't even really it goes to pictures too. And personally, I think this life is um, no more than an illusion created by consciousness and observing. And all we know is uh, the tip of the ice. It's nothing really. And the atom isn't real. It's uh, hard to localize, which means it's, it uh, exists more than one place. And the images are floating, floating in our minds and in the two-dimensional screen. So basically, quantum physics proves everything. Well, I, uh, I, uh, I wanted to um, explain more, more things, but I kind of forgot. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And well, see ya. Thanks. Thanks for watching.